A new generation of veterans is joining Honor Flight San Diego's flight to Washington, D.C. Today, the nonprofit announced it's dedicating its fall flight exclusively to Navy Sea Wolves who fought in the Vietnam War. CBS 8's Abby Alford shares back. how this helicopter squadron is rarely recognized and deserves the trip of a lifetime. On the deck of the USS Midway, there are many helos that pay special tribute to our veterans, but there's one in particular that's dedicated to the HAL 3 Navy Seawolves who served during Vietnam War, and now they're receiving a special honor. It was easier a few years back. More like 52 years. There I was a door gunner, back of the Huey. Uh, flew with some really good pilots. Second class petty officer Gary Eli climbs in the back of the helicopter attack light squadron known as the HAL 3 Navy Sea Wolves on the deck of the USS Midway Museum where he maintains the Huey. You can call me the most handsome of the Sea Wolves. Eli and nearly 3,000 Sea Wolves served in the Vietnam War. There's no way you can experience what went on over there and how it went about unless you were there. The volunteer unit is the most decorated squadron during the Vietnam War in all of naval aviation history, yet they weren't recognized until 38 years later in 2010 by Congress. They did not get the homecomings that they deserved. They did not get the recognition that they deserved. But now they will. Honor Flight San Diego, a nonprofit that's been flying World War II and Korean War veterans to Washington, D.C. for 12 years, is dedicating its fall flight exclusively to 100 Navy Sea Wolves. It shows that uh, we're getting a little bit of recognition that we never got when we came home. They flew hand-me-down helos from the Army and provided air support for the Brownwater Navy in South Vietnam. They flew the most combat missions, 200 were injured and 44 died. They saved countless lives, countless American lives, and there would have been more names on that wall had it not been for the Navy Seawolves. If we did our job right, there were supposed to be people who didn't get killed and hurt. Look, here are the, the PBRs. This trip has a deeper meaning for Honor Flight volunteer Mel Titano. It just makes me feel that my, my dad is here when I'm able to sit down and talk to them. She recalls a conversation when she first learned her father served in the Seawolves shortly before he passed away. You're heroes. And he just shrugged his shoulders, you know, and he said, I just did what I had to do. As Mel pulls out a stack of photos from a Ziploc bag. I'm going to give you a couple of pictures. There are pictures of her father and Eli who served together and so many others. Oh, there's a village over there. Along. You can see the camaraderie with loved ones, an unbreakable brotherhood and pride for their country. I've never been ashamed of what I did. Wouldn't want to go back and do it today. I, I respect my service a lot. Honor Flight will take off with their special flight of HAL 3 Navy Sea Wolves on September 30th and return on October 2nd.